Unleashing energy. The meaning of full of beans. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that you might have heard but wondered about its real meaning. We're talking about being full of beans. It's a colorful expression that's not only fun to say but also carries a vibrant history and meaning. So, if you're ready to boost your English idioms knowledge, you're in the right place. Initially, the phrase, full of beans, might conjure images of a plate overflowing with beans. However, in English, this phrase has nothing to do with actual beans on your plate. Figuratively, when someone is described as being full of beans, it means they are energetic, lively, and spirited. It's a way to depict someone brimming with enthusiasm and vitality, often in a surprisingly vigorous manner. The origins of full of beans are as interesting as its meaning. While the exact genesis is a bit murky, it's believed to have horse racing origins from the 19th century. Back then, horses were sometimes fed beans to boost their energy. Thus, a horse full of beans was one that was energetic and ready to race. Over time, this expression migrated into everyday language, capturing the essence of vitality and liveliness in people. Understanding how to use full of beans in a sentence can greatly enrich your conversational skills. Here are a few examples. After a good night's sleep, I woke up feeling full of beans. My little nephew is always full of beans, running around the house from dawn till dusk. Even early in the morning, she's full of beans, ready to tackle any challenge. This idiom is perfect for informal settings, adding a playful twist to your descriptions of people's energy levels. While full of beans is widely understood in English-speaking countries, it's worth noting that idioms can have different meanings or not exist at all in other cultures. This highlights the beauty and diversity of language, encouraging us to appreciate the unique ways people express similar ideas across the world. We hope you're now feeling a bit more full of beans about using this lively expression in your English conversations. Remember, language is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about the colorful idioms that bring our conversations to life. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video has energized your English learning journey. Stay tuned for more insights and explorations into the vibrant world of the English language.